welcome back. Some new comments from the head of the FBI. Now adding to the debate over the origins of COVID-19 and whether the Chinese government tried to cover it up. This comes as Congress holds a hearing on national security threats. NBC's Garrett Hake has more. A blunt new assessment from the head of the FBI about the origins of COVID-19, deepening the debate over what triggered the global pandemic. The FBI has for quite some time now assessed that the origins of the pandemic are most likely a potential lab incident. The FBI's agents, analysts, and biological threat experts assessing that a lab in Wuhan, China was the virus's likely source. The Chinese government denies that, but FBI Director Chris Wray says they've tried to hide evidence from the world. The observation that the Chinese government seems to me has been doing its best to try to thwart and obfuscate uh, the work here, the work that we're doing. Ray's comments coming just days after news broke that the U.S. Department of Energy also concluded with low confidence that the virus, which has killed more than 1.1 million Americans, had likely originated from a laboratory leak and described it as an accident. Other U.S. agencies believe the virus emerged naturally, a view which had been the mainstream scientific consensus for much of the pandemic. The evidence strongly points to this being a natural occurrence of a jumping of a virus from a bat to an animal species to human. The renewed debate over the pandemic's origin among the topics explored in the first primetime hearing of a new bipartisan select committee in Congress, focusing on competition between China and the United States. And do you believe that China has taken the appropriate steps to make a future lab leak less likely? I think that the system that's in place in China does not permit for or prize uh, serious safety. The committee's Republican chairman telling NBC News he hopes its work serves as a national wake-up call. I hope people understand why they should care about the threat posed by the Chinese Communist Party, why this is not just a distant over their problem, but increasingly a problem that affects all Americans right here at home.